There's an amazing array of data available at the riders' fingertips these days. So we asked them here at the Giro d'Italia exactly what they preferred whilst out on the road. And take a close look at some of the heart rate fields, because clearly some riders are more chilled out than others. Ah, 500 watts! 370 watts now just hurts like crazy. What display do you like to look at when you're riding? Is it your heart rate, your power, or the route that you take? We've got a lot of different answers from the pros. What is your preference? Uh, for sure, I don't want to see the time because it takes. Uh, yeah, it's not good for the morale. Uh, I I don't use uh, heart rate uh, because it's useless in a race. So I like to see the speed, the distance, and uh, what. Here with uh, Sven Tuft of Orico Green Edge. Sven, what information do you like to look at on your head unit? You've got an SRM there. It's really only distance I look at because. You know, everyone likes to talk power and this and that, but if you can't stay with the bunch, it doesn't really matter what power you're pushing. So for me, it's distance, knowing what's ahead and, uh, and your job for the day, crucial moments, it's always distance. What data fields do you choose to look at? Is it power, elevation, or is it different on a variety of different stages? Yeah, well, at the end, uh, we are really used to look at the, at the power at the end. Uh, because uh, the speed uh, it depends from the wind and other factor and the, the power you can you can really check the feelings you are having with the powers you are doing <laughs> you really realize if it's a good day or a bad day i probably don't look at the information as much in a race as in training but uh, i would say up here i have power heart rate speed distance time they're the the main ones that i look at simon what data fields do you like to look at on a race so I've really got into the habit of getting the GPX files and I, I load them up onto my Garmin and, and I actually follow, use the race course. Uh, I don't use so much the, the, the power numbers or anything, but uh, I, I just have the map up with, uh, with, with the directions of where we're going. So I always know where we're turning and, and uh, the, the road direction and then also the kilometres that we've, uh, we've done and the kilometres remaining. So Sounds a bit like Dan Lloyd. Yeah. Uh, being the road captain, it's always important to know all the, you know, not necessarily the information about how I'm going, but about how far we've done and whatnot, so I can help make decisions for the team. So that's why I have that page. Yeah, I mean, like in the race, there's not much time to actually look at your Garmin. It's mostly just uh, the distance, which is most important, and the speed when you're going. And of course, when you go up the climbs, if you're in the break, especially, you like to look at your power to be able to measure efforts perfectly. Yeah. What, what data fields do you prefer when racing? I've got speed, distance, average power, and time. Good stuff. What, why is that? Uh, well, seeing the current power is bad because I'm just going to look at it and get in my head and like, ah, 500 watts. And average power, just I can kind of gauge like, oh, yeah, it actually is, has been hard all day. Um, but that does it for me. So I have uh, lab distance because uh, I record all day. And then at the neutral start, I press uh, lap so that I can see the, the distance of the race. And I have time, power, speed, and elevation. Yeah, the, the power is pretty important. Maybe not in the racing because you just have to go as hard as you can. But in training, uh, I look a lot at that. And then at the speed, at the distance, so you know where you are in the race, how many k's to go to the next GPM or to the finish. Coming into the third week, I don't even want to look at it all just because you know 370 watts now just hurts like crazy but like at the beginning of the tour 400 watts was like easy but now it's just so you just record the record the information and try and ignore it as best you can yeah pretty much just record it and send it to my trainer so there we have it a really intriguing interesting and fascinating look at the data the pros like to see whilst out on the road now for more things during Italia how about clicking just up here, and there you'll find our Giro d'Italia playlist. And for our latest GCN show, how about clicking just down here? And to subscribe to GCN, the globe will be around here somewhere. Don't forget to share and like this video too.